This is Leonard Evans introducing the first of two parts based on a presentation I give to a technical meeting in late 2005. The presentation uses eight scenes from the 1939 GM Futurama exhibit to show that today we are continuing to make the very same predictions that were fashionable in 1939. While science cannot lead us to correctly predict the future, it can say a great deal about what will not happen. Without science, we might assign massive government resources to develop a perpetual motion machine to solve our energy problems. The second law of thermodynamics tells us that this is not possible. Understanding in other areas of science can also identify things that are not possible. Part 1 shows selected scenes 1 through 4 from the Futurama movie and Part 2 scenes 5 through 8. A continuous, higher resolution version of this presentation is available on my website scienceservingsociety.com. This presentation uses scenes from the 1939 General Motors Futurama movie to illustrate how predictions about the future of transportation have remained remarkably the same. Things keep getting predicted time and time again that simply do not happen. The presentation was given at a meeting focused on the federal government's latest effort to apply technology to improve traffic efficiency and safety. There have been earlier efforts with different acronyms. However, there seems to be no desire to provide any evaluation of what safety changes resulted from prior expenditures. Apart from the historical movie scenes, the presentation derives mainly from the ideas that are described in greater depth, detail, and with documentation in my book Traffic Safety. The word expectations in the session title looks remarkably like the word predictions. I have indicated, somewhat lightheartedly, a reluctance to make predictions, especially about the future. However, I am prepared to share with you predictions of transportation 21 years into the future. Uh, these are not mine, but those of my former employer, General Motors. They are predictions for the far-off year of 1960, made in 1939. They formed the basis of the hugely popular GM Futurama exhibit, at the 1939 World Fair. Large numbers of people lined up for long periods to be transported in moving carriages through a model representing an estimate of what the world would look like in that far-off year of 1960. We will be seeing eight short scenes from the total Futurama movie. The entire movie lasts 15 minutes, with an additional 7-minute black-and-white introduction. Like its much more famous 1939 movie, The Wizard of Oz, the present day is represented in black-and-white, and the imagined world in colour. The phrase, in the far-off year of 1960, or equivalent, occurs about once per minute. Let me set you a secondary task. Observe the percent obese in the 1939 crowd scenes. Obesity has become a major national public health problem. Regrettably, we tend to approach it, as we do so many problems, by invoking what might be called technobabble. We keep hearing terms like genes and metabolism not to mention the plethora of products sold to an all too gullible and unknowing public. Clearly, the genetic and metabolic composition of our nation has not changed dramatically 
in the last 70 years. False claims about the origins, nature and cures of both obesity and traffic crashes do immense harm. Now let's see the first scene from the Futurama movie. To help us get a glimpse into the future of this unfinished world of ours, there has been created for the New York World's Fair a thought-provoking exhibit of the developments ahead of us. The greater and better world of tomorrow that we in America are building today. A vivid tribute to the American scheme of living, whereby individual effort, the freedom to think, and the will to do have given birth to a generation of men who always want new fields for greater accomplishment. Now we have arrived in this wonder world of 1960. The World's Fair exhibit modeled with such artistry and skill that we must continually remind ourselves the world we are now seeing is a vision an artistic conception which may undergo many changes as it develops into the great realities of tomorrow. Here are the farm roads of the community. They have been improved and made to flow into great motorways. This superb one-direction highway with its seven lanes accommodating traffic at designated speeds of 50, 75, and 100 miles an hour is engineered for easy grades and for speed with safety. Cars from the farm roads and feeder lanes join the motorway traffic at the same speed as cars traveling in the lane they enter. Here is a highway intersection. Highway engineering at its most spectacular. Traffic may move safely and easily without loss of speed. By means of the ramped loops, cars may make right and left turns at rates of speed up to 50 miles per hour. Elevated and depressed are the turning off lanes. There is no interference from the straight ahead traffic in the higher speed lanes. The motorist of 1960 finds this intersection safe and efficient. The two-directional traffic of the motorway, which merged at the intersection, separates again. The highway surface is automatically lighted by continuous tubing in the highway safety curbing, which evenly illuminates the road surface. What's this just ahead? An amusement park, 1960. 